Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm taking the Canon 500D out to do some video work, turn the camera on, make sure it's in video mode, which is on the dial over there, the little video camera. Then check the battery. That's full, so we're good, there, good to go. If it's not full, make sure you charge the battery. Make sure we're taking the lens cap off. Oops, is that. Then we can start to change the settings on the camera. To do that, we need to change these settings here. If they're not on the screen, press the display, that turns them off. Some on, and then all of them on. To change these settings, press the set button, and then we can scroll through them with the up and down arrows. And to change them, we need to flick this switch here. So, on the focusing, that's a live focus, so if you've got someone in the screen, it will look onto their face and keep the focus on their face. Quick focus. This allows you to press the shutter and it will focus with the internal sensor rather than a quick focusing and live focusing view, which allows you to use this button up here to set the focus. Next, the type of picture, standard, portrait. These are all explained in the user guide, so you can have a look at that changing those. The white balance, auto white balance, it's pretty good, it's okay. It's generally good for, for, for short stuff. You can change the white balance to daylight, shade, and this basically changes the way that the camera sees the colours in the scene. So if you are in a room with some tungsten lights, stick it on tungsten and it should look okay. But it basically changes the one that looks best. Or you can do a custom white balance. First of all, take a picture of a piece of white card or paper in the scene. Then we need to set the custom white balance. To do that, we're going to menu, scroll along, custom white balance. I've already taken a picture of this white piece of card, so I press set, use white balance data for this. Yeah, we want to do that, so click OK. And now when we go back to our screen, it'll be using the custom white balance from the piece of card that we had took a picture of earlier. Next is the size. Generally, take it in 1920 or 1280. Um, if you've got any restrictions on time with the card, put it in 1280. Or if you want a four by three aspect ratio, put it in 640, but mainly stick on 1280, that'll do good. And then if you are taking images, because you can whilst you're doing video, but it does stop the video, you can change the image quality there. All the different settings. Next we'll have a quick look at focusing. Okay, so if I want to set the focus of the scene, I will usually have something like a focus card or um, a point of the scene, you'll see the focus card in the background there. Something in the scene that I want to make, make sure my camera is focused on. So. Turn the camera on, and then the next thing I will do is, we can do a quick focus by pressing this button here. You'll hear the camera, and it gets a focus. But if we want to be really accurate, we can press the zoom in button once, maybe twice, hold the camera nice and still. You'll see it's not perfectly focused there. But now if I hold it again, go through the motions, and it's a better focusing than it was before. Then we can zoom back out and then press record there. You'll see the little red lights on. It tells us how long it's been recording for as well. There's also a little red light flashing in the bottom corner. So then to stop recording, click on stop. To review that, click on the play button. Press the middle button. We can play it or we can play it in slow motion if you wanted to as well. Change the volume using the key here. So a quick look at that one. Press play. And, uh, you see the red lights on. Tells us how long it's been recording for as well. That's if we wanted to stop it, press stop and then delete. Press the delete key. Press play, sorry. Then press the delete key down here. Go over to erase. Click erase. And that's it. Using the Canon 500D, nice and quick to shoot some good video.